Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will explore Xamarin Android inside the Visual Studio 2022. We will look at how we can download and install all the necessary components to get us started. But obviously, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do, because I've got lots of videos coming up. Yeah? So, Android, uh, Xamarin Android exposes the complete Android SDK for .NET developers. It enables you to build fully native Android applications using C Sharp or F Sharp. Enough of all of that. But uh, as you can see on the screen, I've actually got a Visual Studio installer opened here. Yeah? So to get us started, yeah, I'm ju we're just gonna click on the modifier. Yeah. So as you can see, yeah, it's a uh, is a Visual Studio 2022 community version, but the professional or the enterprise is fine. So we'll click on the modifier, yeah? So here, you can install the workloads necessary to get us started, yeah? So what we do is we click on the mobile development with .NET, yeah? So we click here. So this is actually what we get. So, so this is actually uh, to build a cross-platform applications for iOS, Android, or Windows using Xamarin, yeah? So this also, uh, this part, uh, workload also includes the .NET Framework 472 de development tools, C Sharp, um, VB, and uh, development tools for .NET, MS Build, and whatnot, yeah? So once you click on this bit, yeah, so you can also go ahead and install some individual components by clicking on an individual component. So you scroll down. So um, under the emulators, yeah, so you could actually check on these two boxes to install and um, Google Android emulator. This is the API tw level 25. And also install the Intel Hardware Accelerated Execution Manager as well. So there are also other stuff that you can you can add to your package or you can add to your download like the under the games and graphics you can also add the android id support for unreal engine and then under the sdk libraries and frameworks you can add the android setup sdk setup there the api level 25 this um this the local install for mobile development with c plus plus yeah so if you, <clears throat> if you're looking to build a, any C++ application on, for Android, then I guess you, you would need to check on this box to, to test it on the emulator, right? So once you've got all the, the necessary boxes checked, then you click on, click on this part here. So you say it's closed, but it, um, it will appear modified. So you, once you click on the modify, yeah, you get all the download and installation started and completed so once you've got that be completed then you can go ahead and launch the visual studio right but i've already got it open here so there's no need for that so what i'm gonna do is just gonna go to the start window yeah so here we can click on the create a new project right so as you can see here i've actually selected a c sharp and then on the on the all project type side i've selected mobile project so here the first bit is uh, mob mobile app here. Yeah, this is Xamarin Android, I mean Xamarin form. So this for, like I said earlier on, a multi-template multi for building applications for iOS, Android with Xamarin and Xamarin forms. Yeah, so the next part, the next bit is here, uh, the Android app. Yeah, this the project template for creating Android phone and tablet applications with Xamarin, yeah. So that's the one that we're going to use for this video. So we click on this, yeah, then click on the next. So here you can configure your project, I mean your project details. You're not going to look too much into that. So I'm just going to click on the create. So here, obviously, you can select a template for your application. So here you can choose a, a, a single view application, navigation drawer, the tapped app tapped application and blank application just this just to get you started and here you can select your minimum android version so there are a couple of them that you can select so we're just going to leave it at 5.0 yeah so once you're done with that bit yeah and then we're just gonna select the the blank app yeah 
you click OK, yeah? So this should take a few moments for the project to, to uh, as you can see, it's already created, yeah? So this is what you actually get. So we look at, we're just gonna get the emulator started, yeah? So as you can see, yeah, I've already got an emulator. So if you don't have the emulator downloaded and installed, yeah, this is what you can do. You come to the tools, yeah? You, um, Android, then first of all, the SDK manager, Android SDK manager. So here, you're just gonna wait for, here you can install the necessary packages. Um, here, as you can see, I've installed the Android SDK platform tools and Android emulator, I've actually installed that. And as, as you can see, it's update available. Then you can come to the extras here and as you can see, I've also installed an Intel x86 emulator accelerator. Yeah, then I've installed also the SDK patch applier v4. So it is not really important as I'm going to make a separate video on this topic. So it's not really important. But, but once you've selected all the necessary stuff, then you click on the apply changes here. So all the changes will take effect. Yeah, so I'm just going to close this. So once you've got that part installed, then this is how you actually download the uh, emulator. So here you come inside the Android and then the device manager. So here, as you can see, um, I've, I've got um, an, I think a couple of emulators installed. Yeah, but obviously to do so, you can click on the new. So here you can, you can create a new emulator. Yeah, so you can select all the properties and put the values and whatever values that you want to use for this emulator. You can also set the RAM from here. And obviously you can also select the base device that you want to use and the, the type of processor you want to use. Either you want to use the Play Store or not, you, you can select all of this here. And then once you're done with it, then you click on the create. So this will actually um, create a new emulator. Yeah, I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna cancel this here. So once you've got the downloaded installation of the emulator completed, then you can you can start the emulator by clicking on this start here. So in some few moments, it will actually start loading up. Yeah. So as you can see here now, I've got the emulator started. So. As you can see, it's also showing on the Visual Studio. It's a Pixel 2 Pi 9.0 emulator, something like that, yeah? So let's look inside the folder. So if you've been developing Android application there, this is, this is what you get. This is standard um, project, I mean, folders and whatnot to get. So inside the values here, we, got, we get this, um, the color stuff, XML and whatnot, yeah? Then we get the layout. Acti the, there's one layer activity main.xml so we click on there yeah yeah so here you've got the the visuals of your layout on the left and then we've got the code here so here you can also edit some basic details of your of your I mean activity so here like the background you can select whatever background you want to use you can use the color picker to select whatever color that you want as you can see it's very simple then you can select your primary colors you can use um, material palettes or you can use your color picker or you can inherit from whatever um, color style whatever you've created yeah so I'm not we're not going to look too much into this as I've got a separate video for it so I'm just going to leave this video here so that on the next um, video, we pick it from here. So once again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do so because I've got lots of videos coming up. And I hope you have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.